Picture yourself floating in the vastness of space, weightless, surrounded by a sea of stars. Earth is a distant blue marble, and ahead, the cosmos stretches endlessly. For over three decades, a silent sentinel has been our guide through this infinite frontier, the Hubble Space Telescope. Launched in 1990, Hubble wasn't built to linger on our solar system's familiar planets. Its gaze was meant for distant galaxies, newborn stars, and cosmic mysteries far beyond. Yet like a curious traveler, it's turned its keen eye closer to home, revealing wonders in our own backyard that we might have missed. From the moon's silvery glow to Jupiter's colossal storms, Hubble has captured moments that make our solar system feel alive, dynamic, and full of secrets. Let's embark on a grand tour, a cosmic road trip to explore these hidden gems through Hubble's lens, starting with our closest neighbor. Imagine the moon, that familiar orb lighting up our night sky. It's so big and bright that Hubble, with its precision optics, can't fit its entire surface in one shot. Why bother, you might ask? Other missions, like NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, snap detailed lunar maps, leaving Hubble to chase bigger game. But in 2012, during a rare event, Hubble turned toward the moon for a purpose far grander than a simple portrait. Picture this. Venus, our scorching sister planet, was crossing the sun's face, a tiny black dot against a blazing disk. Scientists had a clever idea. The sun's too bright for Hubble to stare at directly, but the moon? It's a perfect mirror. By catching sunlight, bouncing off the moon's cratered surface, Hubble could study how that light filtered through Venus's thick, toxic atmosphere. This wasn't just a cool trick. The light scattered in ways that revealed Venus's chemical makeup, like a cosmic fingerprint. Scientists already knew Venus's atmosphere, choked with carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid, but this was a test run. Could this light scattering method work? If it did, it could unlock secrets of alien worlds far beyond our solar system. When planets cross their stars, Hubble uses the same technique to sniff out their atmospheres. The moon, in that moment, wasn't just a rock in the sky. It was a tool, a giant reflector helping us decode the universe. It's a reminder that even the familiar can surprise us when seen through a new lens. Let's drift farther out, past Venus, to a rusty red world that's fascinated us for centuries, Mars. Unlike the moon, Mars is a perfect fit for Hubble's gaze. While rovers and orbiters get up close, they can't always see the whole planet at once. Hubble can. Its images of Mars are like global postcards, capturing the planet's shifting moods. Picture a massive dust storm, a red haze swallowing craters and canyons, turning the surface into a featureless blur. These storms, tracked by Hubble, aren't just dramatic. They're vital for planning rover missions. When dust chokes the air, solar-powered rovers like Opportunity could lose power. Hubble's view helps scientists predict Martian weather, not just for today, but for future explorers, dreaming of setting foot on that alien soil. Now imagine a time-lapse, a movie stitched together from Hubble's snapshots. Mars spins, its polar caps gleaming, its dark scars, ancient volcanoes and canyons sliding into view. In the background, two tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos, zip around like cosmic fireflies. Phobos, the bigger of the two, is a real speed demon. It orbits Mars in just 7.5 hours, faster than Mars itself spins. In one 42-minute sequence, you can see Phobos darting across the frame, a lumpy potato-shaped rock racing against the planet's red glow. Another time-lapse zooms in on Phobos, 
showing its 22-minute sprint. It's the only moon in our solar system that orbits faster than its planet's day, a quirky fact that makes Mars feel like a place of restless energy. Leaving Mars behind, we venture into a chaotic realm, the asteroid belt, a cosmic junkyard between Mars and Jupiter. This isn't a neat ring of rocks, but a sprawling cloud of one to two million asteroids, some as big as mountains, others as small as pebbles. Hubble's sharp eye has zeroed in on some oddballs here, like a strange object called 6478G. At first glance, you'd swear it's a comet, with two glowing tails streaming behind it. But G isn't a comet, it's an asteroid, and it's got a story to tell. This 3.5-kilometer-wide rock spins so fast once every two hours that it's literally tearing itself apart. How? Blame the sun. Solar radiation nudges irregular objects like G, slowly speeding up their spin over millions of years, a process called the YORP effect. G's now spinning at the breaking point, where centrifugal force overpowers its weak gravity. Loose dirt and pebbles get flung into space, forming those comet-like tails. G isn't a solid boulder, but a rubble pile, a fragile heap held together by the faintest tug of gravity. Over time, it might spin itself to pieces, scattering debris across the belt. It's a glimpse of the asteroid belt's restless nature, where even rocks can't sit still. Another asteroid, P2010. A2 tells an even wilder tale. When Hubble spotted it, it looked like a comet, with a bright nucleus and a glowing tail. But something was off. Zoom in, and you see an X-shaped pattern near the center, not a typical comet's core. This wasn't a comet at all. It was the aftermath of a cosmic car crash. Two asteroids had slammed into each other at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour a high-speed collision that shattered both rocks. The X-shape, that's debris, chunks of stone and dust flying outward in four directions, caught in the act by Hubble's lens. Such collisions are rare, and catching one is like winning the cosmic lottery. The energy of the impact was staggering, far beyond anything we'd see on Earth. The debris didn't just scatter evenly, it followed wild paths, some chunks falling back toward the asteroid, others escaping to form a faint, comet-like tail. Unlike a comet's tail, driven by melting ice, this was pure rock and dust, proof of a violent encounter. These crashes shaped the asteroid belt, grinding rocks into smaller pieces, creating rubble piles, and maybe even sending fragments toward Earth as meteorites. Each collision is a clue to how our solar system formed, a reminder that even in this ancient neighborhood, change is constant. Now brace yourself as we approach the king of the solar system, Jupiter. This gas giant is a beast. Its mass nearly three quarters of everything in the solar system outside the sun. Its gravity is a force of nature, bending the paths of comets and asteroids like a cosmic traffic cop. In 1994, Hubble witnessed a historic event that showed just how powerful Jupiter is. A comet named Shoemaker-Levy 9 wandered too close, and Jupiter's gravity didn't just nudge it, it ripped it apart. Picture a two-kilometer-wide comet, a dirty snowball of ice 